This is a MightyVac MB7300 pneumatically operated fluid evacuator. Sometimes it's called the pneumovac. This unit is powered by compressed air. There's a, an orifice and venturi inside. We blow compressed air through, goes through the orifice, and creates a vacuum which is communicated to the reservoir through this tube. When the unit's running, you're going to have air hissing out of the muffler. If you connect the unit up and we're not getting much airflow, you don't hear much hiss, there could be an issue with the unit. The mufflers do get clogged with any compressed air unit. You have to make sure you've got a filter regulator on your lines with a, with a water separator. Water and debris getting into these units is the biggest issue of mufflers getting clogged up and the unit's not working properly. The orifice of Venturi itself is very simple. The muffler simply unscrews. You can take a look in. If you see debris in there, you can try a little mineral spirits, clean it out, blow back through it with compressed air. You might try taking the muffler off and operating the unit. If it starts generating vacuum and working like it, you need a muffler. If the unit still isn't working properly, you could possibly have an issue or some debris inside the Venturi unit itself. There's no moving parts. It's just a small orifice, a slightly larger one with a cavity inside there. So you pull that out, use some wire to go through that. Do some wire to make sure it's clear through here. Blow compressed air from the top down. Make sure you're getting air out of either side. That will make sure that the unit's clear. We're going to connect our unit up and see what's going on. We have an MV5511. We'll connect that, open the valve, start building vacuum. Give that a moment, open our valve. We're not jettering a whole lot of vacuum, so we've got it. Air flowing okay, because we know the muffler's all right on this. Must be another issue. Sometimes we can lose vacuum. If debris gets, gets on this O-ring, the O-ring gets cut or damaged, uh, wipe it down, put a little silicone grease on there. That'll keep for that from getting chafed. Make sure there's no debris inside here or on any of these plugs that fit inside. Clean it out. Little silicone grease will help seal it up. On the evacuator itself, on the top, wipe that down. Make sure there's no debris in there. The vacuum is communicated to the unit through this tubing. It's a shark bite style connection. You press in, pull the tube, press down, pull the tube. Make sure there is a nice square cut on the end of that tubing. If there's uh, too much of an angle, it could keep the tubing from sealing up properly inside. And it looks like we have a bad cut. Always use a razor blade. Never use your side cutters. Make a nice square cut. Reinstall. Push it in fully. Make sure it fully engages. There's a seal down inside there. You've got to make sure that tubing gets all the way past. All right, that's fully engaged. Go ahead, connect up. Try our compressed air. Closed, closed. Air is flowing. We're applying a vacuum to the reservoir. Now we'll open our gauge and see. Okay, big difference now. So that angle cut on the tubing was what was causing our issue. And you can see that continue to climb. I hope this video provided some useful information for you. If you have any questions, you can contact us. Hit the like button below. Any questions about MightyVac product? Go to MightyVac.com.